Hey, what's going on? If you want to get a complete system that makes melting fat easy and is 100% automated, then I want you to go to the link that's on the bottom of your page right now. Um, YouTube doesn't let me make that link clickable, so you're gonna actually going to have to type it into your browser. Or I'll also put a the copy of the link in the description so you can click on that or type it into your browser. All right. For now, enjoy the video, and after you're done with this video, make sure to go to that link to get a complete fat melting system. So we're going to start a new ritual, a new uh, shower ritual, I like to call it. They're called shower workouts. And it's, it's an easy ritual. Uh, lots of times when you, when you put the shower on, uh, you put the shower on, you put the temperature you want it, it takes, you know, 30 seconds to 45 seconds for the water to get, you know, hot enough where you want to get in. And during that time, we're usually, usually waiting or pacing around, doing something non-productive. So we're going to flip the shower on and do a little workout. And the, if, if your water gets hot right away, I don't care. You're just going to do your little 45 second workout and pop in the shower. Now, I'm doing it in a really small bathroom, as you can see. And I'm still going to do my workout, so there's no excuse. It's a very basic workout. It's going to involve jumping jacks, uh, push-ups, and squats. All right, we're going to do little different variations of each one. And we're going to do it uh, three sets of ten, and that's all. And just like it's, it's designed, it might make you sweat a little bit. And if it does, perfect. But we're getting in the shower, and we're going we're gonna to run into sweat off right away. So there's no excuse. I don't want to sweat. And on top of that, you're taking, if you're you know, a clean person, you're taking at least one to two showers a day. And it's a perfect time for us to do those 45-second workouts. And they're going to add up. And when they, they're gonna, you do two showers a day, one shower a day, and after a year you put in, you know, all these extra reps of, of that workout, and you're gonna see a difference. And not just after a year, but after a month, you know, you're talking, you're talking about 60, 45 second workouts, and it, it comes out to a lot. And it's those little things that make a big difference. So, where you check? Hey, what's going on? If you're enjoying the video so far, do me a huge favor and click on the like button below. Uh, you'll get your good deed for the day out of the way. Uh, it helps me out a lot. Also, go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment. Something as simple as good video or I enjoyed the video. Uh, it really helps me out with YouTube. All right, here's the rest of the video. And jumping jacks. I'm just going to do like army style jumping jacks real, real, real close. I jump out, in, out, in, and I'm on my toes, okay? I'm going to do 10. Let's say I'm at 5 right now. 4, 3, 2, 1, okay? From here, we're going to go to push ups. Now, some of you. You might not be able to do a push-up right now, or you might be able to do a perfect military push-up. Uh, if you can do the perfect military push-up, that's awesome. Do, do that. If not, no problem. You can do it from your knees, all right? Now, I know you're some, you're, you might be saying, oh, I don't want to do it from my knees. I'm embarrassed. Well, you have to start somewhere. And uh, so you can do it from your knees. And in this case, uh, I'm going to do a modified one. It's a little easier where I'm going to put my hands in a tub, like so, and do 10 push-ups. Three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten push ups with ten jummy jacks, ten push ups. If you do it from the ground, perfect. You can go over your knees. Uh, you can do that, but some, some showers have a glass thing here. I know my, we have the glass thing sometimes, so you can't put your hands in the tub, so you can put your hands in the toilet. But we can, you can be creative. You can do anything. As long as you get your, your jummy jacks, your push ups, and last thing we're gonna do squats. On the squats, very important. Uh, if you have bad knees or anything, you want to do proper squats. So we want to do traditional squats with our feet shoulder width apart. All the weight's gonna be on our heels when we go down. We're gonna poke our butt out, keep our back straight, our head up, our chest up. So it's gonna look like this when we squat. Boom. And we're going down to 90 degrees. So I'm gonna squat, back up, okay? I want to keep my knees right over my ankles, all right? And make sure to keep your knees over your ankles. If you, especially if you have bad knees, if your knee goes over your ankles goes forward and your heels come off the ground, it's gonna put a lot of pressure on your patella tendon and it's gonna bother you. So this is bad, this is good. My knees over my ankle, my butt's out, my back straight, my head's up. You always wanna keep your head up because my head's down, but into my back, all right? Now the little twist we're gonna add to these squats is we're gonna put our hands on our ears, like so, like I'm under arrest or whatever you're gonna do it, and you're gonna squat down, back straight, butt down. On the way up, you're gonna bring one knee to the opposite elbow. Up, one. Other knee, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Takes anywhere from 10 seconds, like anywhere from 10 seconds to a little bit more, a little bit less for each 10. So you're doing 10 jumping jacks, 10 push ups, 10 squats. Okay? You're gonna do that two to three times. 
I want I don't want you to overdo it. Like sometimes you might say, like, man, I want to do three workouts three times. So do it twice. And when you're feeling extra motivated, do it two times. But this little workout adds up. I might be sweating right now. Doesn't matter, I'm getting in the shower. We're gonna clean up. And this is the workout we're gonna stick to and we're gonna make it a ritual. We're gonna change up every now and then. But I want you to work doing the uh, shower workout right before you get in the shower every time. No excuse, get right to it. And uh, you're gonna see a, a world of a difference day after day after day, you're gonna get better at it. And on top of that, you're looking at your goals every time you come in the mirror, remember how I said, we got our magic, you know, our, our six pack paper. I have it here on my mirror right now. Uh, and you should be doing that's one of the rituals that we're adding and we're adding all these together. And again, like we're always saying, we're gonna put all these things together. They're gonna react, you know, work really well with each other and you're gonna break that tipping point and you're gonna get the automatic six pack and it's gonna be automatic. You know, you're walking here, do your workout, get in the shower, go out, get your snacks, get your meals and get that automatic six pack. A real quick, one more thing before you go. I wanna make sure you know that there is no correlation between how hard you work and how much fat you melt or how much muscle you build. All right? There's enough science, enough data out there that there's absolutely no correlation between hard work and results. All right? There's a difference between movement and achievement. All right? If you want to learn my best tips, what I call the 5% hacks that allow you to get maximum results, maximum fat loss, maximum lean muscle gain, I want you to go to the link that's on the bottom of this page or you can click on the link in the description. Uh, you're going to get a complete system for melting fat in an intelligent and streamlined system. I'll see you there.